Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a general message for whoever is meant to watch this. This is timeless. I do want to say there is someone who is a karmic woman who is jealous of whoever is watching this. Someone is jealous of you. You just cut the deck. I have not seen the cards. We're going to see what the message is. Please like and subscribe and let's see who is this karmic woman who is jealous of you. Someone who feels left out in the cold. They want to be like you. This person has a void. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, they do see you communicating with the dead or with your spiritual team and with the hanged man this person feels stuck they watch you and they see you really having okay they see you having abundance this person is trying to be like you they're watching you they feel empty they listen to what you're doing and then they think about how they can be like you this is kind of like ben fatal with the two of swords this person has an imbalance this person is trying to connect themselves energetically to you they're wishing to be like you with these faces i'm getting gemini vibes here but this person is blocked this person tries to do a lot of spiritual work at night with the four of pentacles when you are asleep um this person wants to be like you they want to take from you this person has been contemplating when to love and trust your intuition how to cause some type of spiritual battle or just be you this person is taking action here with the cancer card coming through very strongly to be you okay so this was backwards yeah with the nine of swords they try to send you psychic attacks the way the cards are flipping back and forth with the ten of cups they're not happy in their relationships with the five here they're trying to change themselves to be like you to cause burdens to you it's like they want your happiness but it's blocked is what i'm getting um they're very burdened here with ace of swords it's like they are watching you and even here this this lollipop this candy it's like they're sad they're not happy with the ten and the other 10 here. Um, that's basically just saying like this person is trying to be like you. They're trying to mirror you. They're trying to do everything to be just like you. For some reason, this person is just feeling like they do not have any happiness unless they are exactly like you for some reason, shape, or form. It's like this person is going to get judgment though because of the two, the 20 here, the 10 and the 10. It's like they cause burdens to your happiness or they're trying to. They're speaking out negatively against you. And with the four of cups, you're protected. And this person doesn't focus on themselves though because all they want to do is come towards you um with the chariot card i think i said that by mistake with the previous card but i do see them watching you like you're over here doing your thing they watch you i'm getting gemini libra i heard taurus scorpio cancer aquarius they see that you have a lot of spiritual abundance and you are strong and you have positive movement forward. This person is jealous. Yeah, with the two sixes, it's like you are thinking out of love and light. You just want peace and quiet. You're moving forward. You're very passionate with the things that you do. You have a lot of drive, but this person here feels very left out in the cold. They want to be you and they're very much focused. It's definitely a karmic energy here with the Capricorn card of the devil, pretending to be your friend or just watching you from a distance and wanting to be with the magician using some type of magic to cause an ending to your happiness. It's like this person is very dark and very low vibrational and they wish to have what you have and they want to take from you somehow, some way. I'm getting like the stepsister Cinderella vibes for some of you. It could be family um, with the tower and the three of the empress. This could even be your mother for some people. It depends. With the six of cups, it's like they want what you have. They see you. Maybe you got all of the toys as a child and they didn't get that one doll that they wanted, but you got what you wanted and now they feel like they're the one in the tower i'm getting like maleficent like stuck in the tower their family didn't give them what they wanted they have a really past um, childhood memory that haunts them and they blame you for it it's all your fault and now they want to take from you they want to be like this person really wants to be you two 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 this person has some type of imbalance here with the six of pentacles they feel like left out like they were the bad seed or they feel like they didn't have enough attention as you this person is jealous they see you as having everything but in reality it's like they have everything as well, but they are just so jealous of your beauty, of your shine, of your demeanor, of the fact that you have a lot of um, confidence and you're just very beautiful. You're very outgoing and independent. And this person is very beautiful in their own way too. But they don't see that because they're so focused on you here um, with the king, or excuse me, the knight of pentacles and the, the page and the knight of pentacles. They are trying to learn to be like you, but the buttons are falling off. It's like they can't be you because they're not you. They need to be themselves. With the Hierophant, you have a lot of spiritual abundance here with the Hierophant and the Moon. Um, they also feel like your father favored them more. Maybe they were not treated fairly, but with the Seven of Wands and 14 here of Sagittarius, 444 as I'm saying that, and the Five of Cups, this person could have daddy issues or they just felt neglected somehow, some way. They need to heal themselves instead of focusing on you. Um, with the Death card, there is an ending of all of the drama. And with the Nine here of 
justice. I feel like this person is definitely going to get karma for what they're doing. Oh, this card was backwards. Yeah, with the world card. All of that pain and suffering that they're sending your way is coming to an end. 505, if you had a nightmare recently where you're a little bit confused and you feel like you're being delayed um, with the Queen of Swords here, it's like you have abundance. Like you will always be blessed. And this person is trying to cause blockages. It's not going to happen because you have a lot of spiritual protection, mind, body, and spirit. I'm hearing the angelic realm is around you, protecting you. And whoever this hateful, spiteful, karmic woman is, she cannot harm you. For some, it's family. For some, it's a friend. Um, I heard a jealous lover. It doesn't matter who this woman is. Fact of the, like, the point, I'm hearing fact of the matter is she will be stopped. And you have victory. And you are protected. But there is a message here that someone is trying to infiltrate, come around, try to cause drama. Um, writing petitions against you, but it doesn't matter because you're heavily protected. Um, with the Queen of Wands, you are the stronger one. Mind, body, and spirit. Your crown chakra is protected. You have strong spiritual energies all around you, and you are safe, and you are healing just fine. With the um, Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe they're jealous of your empathic gifts here, and they wish they could be like you, but this person's going to have a hollow victory if they're trying to siphon your energy or harm you somehow, some way. With the Sun card and the High Priestess, it's like you are illuminated to the truth. You are the true chosen one. And with Three of Pentacles, you are going to heal mind, body, and spirit. And um, with number eight here, I feel like this card is justice. I'm sorry. Number nine was the Hermit. So it's like you've gone within, you see the truth, and this person is going to have a hollow victory. And whatever they're doing, they're going to have to walk away and leave. You have a lot of ravens and crows protecting you or spirit animals, but you're just very gifted, and you are going to have your blessings. This person cannot take from you anymore. Work with um, a sunstone crystal or a yellow crystal, citrine maybe, but there's something about your solar plexus that needs to be healed. And that is what I have for you, Collective. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe, and I send you many blessings. Bye, guys.